Uh, Steve in Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to the show today, Steve. Why, thank you, Kim. I appreciate you taking my call. You betcha. I got a question for you. Um, my wife and I are traveling to Italy um, this coming weekend, oh. and uh, our our phone company gives us um, unlimited data, but only five gigabytes of it on each line is high speed. So I was wondering, um, what settings should I change on my iPhone so things like iCloud Photos don't back up unless I'm on Wi-Fi? Because yeah. I don't want to waste that data. Every time I take a picture, I don't want it going up to the cloud and using my data. Oof. And then you're sitting there, how come I feel like I'm in 1990 on my phone? <laughs> Especially in the middle right. of Italy. Ex ex exactly, because <laughs> it 256 k <laughs> yeah. if I use the phone. Oh, oh, I knew that. It's Every awful. time you go on the internet, you're... <laughs> You've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I only want to do backups and upload to the cloud when I'm on the hotel's Wi-Fi or a restaurant's Wi-Fi. Well, there's a there's a whole laundry list of stuff that you need to do. Yeah, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee while you guys <laughs> okay. go through them all. I mean, first of all, you, t you, you turn off your iCloud sync and backups on cellular, okay? Those are well, in your iCloud. Uh -huh. Okay, then you're going to block most apps from using cellular, so you're going to toggle off all mm -hmm. your non-essential apps. Uh, then you're going to say disable background app refresh. Then you're okay. going to restrict the app store and the downloads. Then you're going to turn okay. off mail fetching. <laughs> Looks like you found something to do on the flight over. <laughs> okay. Wait, yeah, there's really. <laughs> wait, there's more. Oh god, <laughs> okay. sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. <laughs> okay. You want to enable low data mode. Okay. And then you want to monitor usage during your trip. Okay, and then well, you want to, you, if you're going to be using maps or anything or anything else, make sure that you have all those offline too. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, download the Google Maps offline, right. Okay, or you could you could forget about T-Mobile's 5G and the 5 huh? gigs, rather, and you could just get an eSIM. Well, I thought about the eSIM too, but uh, to, bu to buy... Um, another 10 gigabytes for um, T-Mobile is only going to cost me an extra 30 bucks. But to buy that from a, a third-party site was going to cost me more for less gigabytes than T-Mobile was going to give me. Um, take so a I look at running, yeah. Take a look at Saley. S A I L Y. They were sponsoring the yeah, newsletter, by the way. Newsletter. Yeah, take yeah, a look I've at that. Yeah, I've seen it in your newsletter. Because yeah, they start at like okay. five bucks. But otherwise, yeah, five bucks, but. Right. Yeah, but it's so. But you don't need a. You know, there's no SIM swap. You just download the app, pick Italy, and then you're good to go. I mean, you do not have to. Right. There's there's really no more configuration, getting into the settings. I mean, that's what you want to do. But you're just going to be like 10 gigs. So maybe like stick with the T-Mobile because you get the five gigs, and then if you start seeing that you're getting over that limit, that's when you get the eSIM card. He could turn it on at any time. Yeah. Oh, nice. For sure, for sure. And that's Sally. I think they are a sponsor of the newsletter. And so you might want to check it out there.